When players get crushed, hit, or hurt, coaches turn their care over to those trained to get them back playing as soon as possible. Straight ahead, I'll show you why these people are so motivated to share in this responsibility. Every year, there's more than 12,000 injuries in collegiate athletics. A majority of their rehabilitation is performed by an athletic trainer. Katie O'Flaherty is a trainer who works for the University of Alabama's women's rowing team. She deals with every kind of injury that a normal doctor would. You pretty much have to be prepared for anything. Anything from acute injuries to chronic injuries to wound care um, or pretty much emergency medicine, anything of the sort. These trainers are not only there at the time of a player's injury, but help in the diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of the player as well. University of Alabama rower Haley Gilland shattered her ankle bone while running during a rowing practice. She consults her trainers on a daily basis. I trainer every morning before practice and every afternoon before practice and she comes to doctor's appointments with me and makes all my doctor's appointments. While most athletes like Gillen need tape or other medical equipment to heal those wounds, most athletic trainers also offer mental support to give athletes the confidence they need to get back into the game. You become their friend, they trust you with things like on an emotional level, on a psychological level. They come to you for all those things, not just their injury. Athletic trainers often work long hours while supervising athletes before, during, and after practice, on trips, and also doctor's appointments. As sports become an even more prominent part of children and college life, athletic trainers like O'Flaherty will continue to help athletes get back to their game as fast as possible. For the University of Alabama, I'm Sid West reporting.